Okay, so now we're out in the field and we're finally ready to deliver that taco. We got our two sets of Aruco markers, our drone here, and last, but of course not least, we have our taco here. We got a little clip on top and that's just gonna clip right onto that servo. So the first thing we're going to do is grab one Aruco 72 and one Aruco 129. We're going to drop those at the taco drop location. So let's walk over there. Here we go, that's probably good. So we'll have our 129 is the bigger one, of course. And then we have Ruko 72 right next to it. Okay, so this is going to be the location of our taco drop off. What we need to do now is record the GPS locations of these Arucos. So let's do that right now. Okay, so we're going to go to the Google section of your phone or whatever map you're using, and then go to Maps. And then while you are standing right, almost right on your Aruco markers, let's pull up the map and let's make sure our location is on. And let's find where we are on the map. Let's hit that little identification button, the little target. And there we go. It, the little blue dot, of course, is where we are currently standing. So let's zoom in there a little bit. And then we're going to hold down, we're gonna drop a pin right by our location. There we go. And then if we want to see the latitude and longitude coordinates for that pin, we just click on that dropped pin. And there we go, we have 46.7101688 for latitude and that other long number for the longitude. So those will be the lat and long coordinates that we will supply our taco delivery.py script with. Okay, then let's SSH into the drone and let's supply our taco delivery script with our latitude and longitude coordinates that we just created for that taco waypoint. We're gonna go up to the top here and go down to lat taco and lawn taco. And we're just going to enter those coordinates that we just saw on that pin that we dropped on our Google Maps. Make sure to double check that your coordinates are right when you're supplying your script with them. And then once you're done updating those variables, we'll go ahead and save that updated script. All right, now let's grab these other Aruco markers and we'll place them at the point from which the drone will take off into the air, the home waypoint. And again, we won't have to record the waypoints of these Arucos because the drone kit script will do that automatically. There we go. And we have our drone right here, right next to the takeoff point. You should probably place the drone as close to the Arucos as possible so that the saved waypoint will be as close as possible to those home Arucos. All right, now let's actually put that taco on our taco delivery copter. Here's our taco here from Taco John's. And we have a little clip on there that'll just hook into the servo. There we go, that looks pretty secure. All right, so here is our home Aruco waypoint. And then off in the distance over there, you can see our taco waypoint. All right, now we're about to launch our taco delivery script. Should be launching up into the air any second. There we go, it's flying to our target altitude and we see that taco there just hanging. And now we're flying to our taco waypoint that we just recorded. 
So it's hovering above the destination. Now it's going to start landing and try to adjust above that target once it finds a Ruko 129. There it goes. It adjusted over the target. Now it's going to begin its descent on these Aruko markers. And we got the taco there ready to get delivered. Any second here we should see the drone switch to tracking Aruko 72. Looks like it's tracking 72 now. And there's the taco just waiting to be eaten. Come on, Buster. Let's see how good we can do here. Oh, look at that. Come on, Buster. Perfect, kind of slid off there, but you'll see that servo go low. And now when the drone takes off again, that taco will be left on the taco waypoint. All right, now it's time to fly home. So tacos left there and the drone taken off into the air. Now we just have to fly back to our home waypoint. There we go. Drone is above the home waypoint. Now it's going to begin that precision land. There's our Arucos there. And the drone is now landing. See how good of a job it can do landing on those targets. And it looks like it should start switching to tracking Aruko 72 any second. Come on, Buster. We got more deliveries to do, Buster. There we go. I was probably about two inches away. Then after we're done with that taco delivery, we got one more very, very important thing to do. Um, yeah, it's time to eat the taco. Buster, you want some? No? Mm-hmm. You haven't had a taco until you've had one delivered by a drone. Tell you what. Most important part of the course right here. Mm-hmm.